Welcome back to Sip and Tap the Films, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. Today, we're bringing you another draft prospect, Terrence Marshall Jr. from LSU. Um, there's a big four at receiver this year. Uh, Terrence Marshall is one of those big four. The other three are uh, his teammate, Jamar Chase, uh, two guys from Alabama, Jalen Waddle, and Devontae Smith. Uh, those four are really the, the top four. Then you have your other guys, I think. But I'm only, I'm only four guys in, so... You know, watching games during the season and knowing the reputation of the teams, those are the top four that I know of right now. But again, I'm only four guys in. And without further ado, cue the intro. All right, let's get into the film. Um, if it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like what you see, hit the like button. And when you do that, make sure you click the bell for notifications so you can get these random dropped videos, randomly dropped videos. Um, what I failed to mention in the last video was the stats and the size of the, the prospect. So I'm going to take the time to do that first, then get into the film. Uh, his career numbers at LSU, 106 catches. 1,594 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 15 yards per catch. And just in this 2020 season, uh, 48 catches, 731 yards, 10 touchdowns, 15.2 yards per catch. But the difference is with the other guys that I've done so far, Marshall's 6'3", 6'3", 200 pounds. And I'm going to go ahead and give you my little synopsis of him compared to the other three I've done so far. Um, they're faster than him. The other guys are faster than him. The matter of fact, let me compare the Alabama two Alabama guys to the two LSU guys. The Alabama guys are way faster than the, the L, not way faster, but faster than the L, faster than the LSU guys. Um, the difference is the LSU guys have size. Uh, Chase blocks. Terrence Marshall can block. The only negative I saw from Waddle and and Smith is blocking. I mean, they can run routes. They're smooth in transitions. They they yak after the catch. They're explosive with the ball in their hand. They're versatile. The only negative I can see for the Bama kids are, are, are blocking. But the LSU guys are just a little bit slower as far as speed. But they still run routes. They're still smooth in transi transition. They have high IQ, high football IQ, but they block. And they have size. That's the difference. And I kind of will – I don't mind giving up speed – to have a little size and that'll help my run game and block down the field. But, you know, with all that being said, let's get into the film. Gotta put my blockers back on. My blue blockers, my blue light blockers. I had to take them off because last last video you guys could see the reflection in the in the uh in the glasses. But here we go. Uh Marshall, Marshall. Let's let it play and then we'll you know we'll come back. At the top of your screen, just catching a, a fade right on the guy. That simple. Don't really. He's up. He's up here. Don't really. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh. Don't really burn the guy. Just can see it. Close the cushion. The guy opens up the run with him. Long strides. It doesn't look like he's running. He looks slow. It doesn't look like he's running. But those long strides, they 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 take up space. Ball's thrown. I should have put the back view on here, but this ball was perfectly thrown to uh, to the point where if the defender, y'all can't see me, if the defender is on this shoulder, the ball's thrown right here, and he really just has to run up under it. Like it's thrown away from the defender, but not out of bounds. The ball was thrown perfect. He just had to catch that. So really, this is not a highlight. It's just. He ran straight down the field. Joe Burrow threw it in the right spot. Oh, and this is 2019 film. I couldn't find 2020 film that was not on YouTube. So I, this is 2019 film with Burrow and all the other guys on the team. Now, we'll talk a little bit about the 2020 film that I saw, but I just couldn't put it on camera at the end of the video. All right, let's go to the second clip. This is Marshall at the... Not in the slot. That's Jefferson. I think this is him right here. I think this is him right here. Because he's kind of bulky, so this may be Chase. That's Marshall at the bottom. Run a little dig route. And we talked about settling and, and having football IQ in the last video. 
And again, it doesn't look like he's running fast, just smooth. Smooth, smooth. Got to defend him to the point where, okay, I got to turn to open up and run. Let's see how well he breaks down. Boom, one cut, now he drifts a little bit. That cut, that cut started on like the 20, for the 32 yard line, and he ended up coming down the line. But some people are taught, or some people learn the speed cut like that. Stick that foot in the ground early, and then they end up cutting on the line they're supposed to. So that could be one of those possibilities. But anyway, once he gets out of that, watch how he comes flat. Doesn't doesn't drift back here to the DB. He's gonna come flat down this line, catches the ball with his hands. Nobody catch it. Catches it. Hands extended. Right there. Hands extended away from him. Diamond, diamond. Making a diamond right there. You, you back it up. Making that diamond. Hands extended. First down. All right, let's go to the next play. Let's see. I think this is him at the bottom. I think this is Marshall. All right, check. Come on, check the play. Run the post route. Again, this, this play is on here not only because it's a touchdown, and he didn't have to, but his body is in position to use it versus the DB. And the reason I'm saying that he, he's in position to box this guy out thinking this is going to be a contested ball. You know, if I'm running this route and I know I got one-on-one, -on -one, I'm thinking this is probably going to be a contested ball. So let me get my body in good position so I can just go up and come down with it. But it ended up not even being contested. Burrow put it in a good enough spot. And he had enough of inside separation on the inside where it ended up not being a contested ball. And still, you really can't see, you probably can't see it that good because of the quality of the video with the hands. Nobody catching. Caught it with his hands and, and you know, secured the catch. Nobody catching. But at this point right here, okay, now the ball can be thrown in a number of different areas, and I can just box you out and go up and get it. I can just box you out. because, And the reason I say that because of the way he just caught the ball and kind of braced for the hit, but the hit never came. He caught it and braced for the, the hit in the air or for the guy to try to swat it down, but it never happened. Never happened. That's why I say he, he put himself in position to kind of box the guy out. All right, it's going to play. Oh, this is play three. Let me bag it up. Oh, did I skip one? Let me see. Did I skip one? No, I'm saying one. We gonna play four then. Okay, zooming on through. Zooming on through. Play four. Marshall is here. Here, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is one to kind of do with the little route running. Run the curl. Look at that. You come right back down the stem. Simple. Simple good football. You're going to close the cushion. The guy's going to have to open up to respect that post that he probably been running, you know, most of the game. And he's going to sit it down. Probably take a, a – his when he starts his sit down, it's probably going to take him a yard or two to, to, to gather himself to get them in to the knees over the toes. Then push right back down the line of scrimmage to keep that cushion. And the, coming back down the line of scrimmage is important, especially in the NFL, because you're not going to have a lot of separation. And if you stay in one spot, they're going to come back down and knock it down or pick it. So now he starts his his breakdown at right at the zero on the 10-yard line. So it, it takes him a little bit past the 10, but he comes right back down the stem and gets it. First down. And the, part of that is knowing where the sticks are. If you got a curl route and you know it's almost, that's, it's third down, not third down, but it's first down. But knowing where the sticks are, you're going just enough to what bring you back down the line of scrimmage. Not the line of scrimmage, the um, the line of your stem. Right back down. Easy first down. Look at the separation. He's caught the ball on the ground, and the, and the DB is still one, two, three, maybe four yards away. Three and a half, four yards away. Good job. All right, play five. All right, he's in the slot. I had to remember what it was. He's in the slot right here. You can get him involved in your RPO stuff because he can work the middle. He can work the middle of the field. As you know, LSU ran a ton of RPOs. This is a straight drop back. But again, 
if this was some kind of run fake and then dart right there, he can work the middle of the field because he's big enough to do that. You can use him as a extended tight end because of his size. That's that's another part that makes him versatile. Now those um the the Alabama guys, you can use them too, and they can do this also. But that pounding that they may take in the NFL, you know, would kind of negate that speed over time. This dude's 6'3". They're like 5'11", 5'10", you know, under 200 pounds. I think he's sitting at like 205, 210. And I'll go back and check it um, when when this is over. But I think he's sitting at 205, 210. And can kind of take some pounding, you know, over the middle and get you some tough first downs. You don't want those smaller guys getting that. And they called him down. He didn't fumble. But again, like like I said, I, I like this dude to be in that group of four top receivers because, again, he's fast. Not as fast as Waddle. Not as fast as Smith. But he's fast enough. He, he's 6'3", so he can high point balls. You can use on the outside or the inside. He, he Like right this, this last clip where he circled, he's a slot receiver. But you can also use him on the outside. And the 2020 film showed you how much more versatile he is because they did not have Joe Burrow. They did not have J-Mar Chase. He was by far the number one guy. There was no other superstar on that team. He was the superstar. And um, he still produced. He produced to the tune of 48 catches. Actually, he had more yards this year than he had last year, which obviously you think so. But he produced just as well. 48 catches, 10 touchdowns, 15 yards, 15.2 yards per catch. Being the guy they had to lock in on. So that, that really stands out to me because they had um, uh, Rainey McGrath, I think that's his name, and he's actually a prospect also. But, and I, you know, he played played some in this Texas game that I saw for the first time when I was looking at it. But this dude is, he's in that top four. He's in that top four receivers. Is he number one? You'll have to see when I finish that top nine, but he's definitely in there. And, again, this is Coach Evans finishing Terrence Marshall's uh, evaluation from my standpoint. Uh, right now, he's in the top four, but I've only done four, and um, the rest will be coming soon. So I appreciate you guys for coming in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and um, see you next time. Peace. So I forgot to give you the things I liked about his 2020 season, even though we didn't have tape. Uh, he had an amazing one-hand catch versus Mississippi State. Uh, he had a couple of contested catches versus Vandy. Um, he works the middle of the field well, slants, uh, glance routes, skinny posts, and deep posts, uh, and running the seam on like four verts. Uh, he just went off versus Missouri. Uh, so if you can get a chance to watch that game, please do so. He did a little bit of everything. And um, I think his best route is post route. But his versatility is up there with that top four on top of the fact that he's 6'3 uh, and can block so he can add that value to your team. And he's just, he's a complete guy. So that's why I got to mention him with those top four. It can't be three than the rest. It's four than the rest, as far as I'm concerned right now. And again, this is Coach Evans. I'm out of here. With the, with the